Hello, everyone. It's your girl, Miss Hannah Little from Come and See You at NYC with I said I was be coming back. I want to talk about Lovely T's Live in regards to Tim Norman wanting to suppress the text messages from being incidents to his trial that are between Andre Montgomery, the victim, and his grandmother, Robbie Montgomery. Now, here's the thing about this. Tim is not texting in the text messages, but it all has to do with something that I spoke about like a while ago, which has to do with the money missing. So if you remember me and other YouTubers speaking about this, Andre Montgomery was accused of stealing 200K from Robbie Montgomery's safe. And Andre always said, I did not take it. I would never steal at all, especially from you, Grandma. Now, this is stuff that they talked about before these text messages have been released. So, he always said, I believe Tim did it. He never said Tim did it, but he said, I believe Tim did it. But the text messages that have been posted online, which is hard to get, which is weird, but somehow another lovely T got them. What has been going on in the text messages is that Aunt Tim doesn't want them admissible into court because he knows that that will be the final nail. Okay? He knows he will go to jail for life without parole. Definitely. So Andre in the text messages tells his grandmother. When his grandmother tells him, you know, if you're not guilty, just take the test. And he says, Grandma, it's not that I'm not trying to avoid. It's not that I'm trying to avoid you, but I feel that Tim is after me. There are people that Tim have watching me and it's not safe for me in St. Louis. He says, I'm not avoiding you per se because I don't want to be bothered. I'm trying to protect myself. I'm trying to protect my life. So he goes on to tell his grandmother, Ryan Montgomery, I'm going to come and take the test. But then once I take the test, I'm going back and I'm leaving. And honestly, I'm not going to really come around. Because I got to look out for me because I know Tim is after me. Now, the response from Miss Montgomery, Miss Robbie... It's not really alarming. It's very damaging, more so. It's damaging to, Rob, to, uh, to Tim. But it's also somewhat damning to Miss Robbie because it's like your grandson was telling you, I'm afraid for my life. Your grandson was letting you know, hey, your son, my father's brother, my uncle is after me. He got people looking after me. Looking out, looking and watching me because my own uncle was trying to take me out. And I feel that has to do with this whole money thing. Mind you, there's no notice of insurance coming up. Okay? But it's basically, I'm being watched. And you need to look out and you need to say something. The grandmother was more concerned about the money being missing. She was like, if you didn't do this and you know you didn't do this, you need to come because I know money was in my safe. So it's sort of like she didn't believe Andre. It's more like she believed Andre did it. So what happens is Andre does take the lie detector test. He does take the polygraph test, but it becomes basically inconclusive because while he took the test, he was... Basically, he had weed in his system. So the cops had told him, listen, you're going to have to come back and take the test again. So six months, six days later, he came back to town. He was on his way to basically taking the test and they got him. Had Andre, and this is what I'm going to say, and this is just my opinion. If Andre wasn't, didn't have marijuana in his system, and he took the test and passed, I don't think Andre would have been gunned down. I think Andre would still be here. 
because more than likely he wasn't going to tell anybody his whereabouts because of Tim. He was not coming back to St. Louis. But they got him because of him having to take the test again. And he only came back to prove his innocence. That's how they got him. Now, here's the thing a lot of people are saying. A lot of people, because I wasn't, I just found out about this yesterday or last month, in the last month. A lot of people ain't rocking with Miss Robbie anymore. They not. And I feel that once this trial is over, them, them, them restaurants ain't going to be packed. Maybe up across, but all them other ones, they're not. Because now you look in like what some people have been saying about you, Miss Robbie. You're looking suspect. They know you didn't do the crime. But people are starting to look and talk about this online. They're talking about it online. This is not me making it up. They're saying things like she knew it was going to go down. And that's sad because, yes, you're accusing her of a crime. And it's really fucked up to say that because she's coming at a lot of people. She's coming at Philly Phil, which Philly Phil has never said anything. But what is really sad about this is I feel that Miss Robbie could have basically talked about Andre, but she didn't talk about Andre like that. She's been, you know, standing by Tim. And I think it's because she believes that Andre took her money. She believes that Andre took it instead of Tim. But we all believe Tim took it. And that's what this is all about. It's about money. And she's not really speaking out and, you know, saying just for Andre. Now, on the show, she was doing that on the show. But she's not doing it online with interviews. She's not going that hard like she could. People say that she don't post pictures of her grandson like that on her Instagram but the one thing that does bother me is that usually when older people lose a grandchild they usually decline even when they lose a child but she's looking young and youthful and really upbeat and it's weird and that's what bothers me But that's just a personal thing. Like, I'm not saying she had anything to do with it. I'm going to make that clear. But there are people that call in to different, well, not call in, but just post things on different shows, different channels, go on Instagram, and they say otherwise. It's just a sad thing. Such a good show that got tainted. And I believe Tim did it without any question, without any doubt. But... Andre needs justice. And with that being said, I'm signing off. Thank you for tuning in and have a great night.